Yeah, you're gonna to wanna to pull your case off. It's easier to pull the, the air filter itself off. Okay. You're gonna come in here, remove both your spark plugs. Yep. And you wanna do it over cardboard or something, or something that you're gonna trash, because this will leak oil out. Yeah. Tilt it back. Hmm, battery. Oh, it's a new valve cover. Just... No, that's a wrecked one. It's got a crack. In oh, it. it's got a crack. Okay. Oh, I see. Go ahead. Shove the paper towel up, up in here to try to close it off. Is that 10 mil? 10 millimeter, yeah. Yep. There's five of them. Uh, for your more worn in used engines, mm -hmm. you're probably going to want to hold on to hold on to the cover when you pull the last one out because there normally is a lot more oil in here. Mm -hmm. So I'll take this and try to uh, try to stop it from getting everywhere. It makes a mess regardless. And you see it leaks out of there. That ain't too bad. And, uh, so what you want to do, you want to spin your flywheel at one, uh, yeah, clockwise. clockwise. Yep. So there's a four stroke, yeah, four stroke engine. So mm -hmm. that means for every time, every ignition in your cylinder, this is going to go around twice. Mm -hmm. Uh, line up the magneto with this magnet and it's the same on both sides so you want the i mean if we're what is that the right the right side of the magneto for you mm -hmm. lined up there if you're doing the other valve you want it lined up there but the important oh, i see okay yeah yep but the important part is you want to be in the right the right stroke you want the the piston to be at top dead center which it is when it's there but if you check out your valves right here, so that's your exhaust. Your exhaust valve just opened. Mm -hmm. That's your intake valve. That just opened. Mm -hmm. and the exhaust is gonna wiggle a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And once the exhaust does that little bit of a wiggle instead of a full open, this is when you're in the right spot to do your adjustment. Okay, got it. Let me get my wrenches and the fuelers. What are you changing there? Pillow block bearing? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're gonna need two 10 millimeter wrenches for this. Yeah. Two 10 mil. Go ahead and get your gauges. Yeah. Uh, the sizes you want that we use for the used engines, oh. we'll take five, six, and seven thousandths. Okay. And that's on the spark plug. And no, spark. Spark plug. You, don't, you don't you don't check that on a spark plug. Well, we're giving them a new spark plug for this one. Okay. Uh, I think your spark plug is eight thousand. Okay. But so you go ahead. And you want to see if you can get your five in there. Yeah. So my five's not. Uh, maybe this one. No, my five's not going for either of these. Yeah. That means it's a little bit too tight, and that's normally what happens with these engines. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead, and this is a bolt on the left side, and that's a nut. You're gonna wanna try to break free that nut just mm -hmm. a little bit so you have movement in the bolt. Okay. If your bolt, that, that adjusts the cam. Mm -hmm. 
so you want to tighten it down on your five thousandths. Yep. Just so it kind of... Just a little, like a snug, not yeah. a tight fit, yeah. Just so it barely holds on to that. Mm -hmm. And then you want to, with this hand, hold that wrench in place so it doesn't loosen up anymore. Tighten down the nut. And that one is done. And I should, and that might be a little bit tight still. Yeah, right. Still trying to get used to them, and they, they can be a little bit... Little and just a little the slightest bit of motion in this wrench mm -hmm. is is enough to actually change the gap a pretty significant amount That's a good sign that it fell out. So, and which one was that? That's the that five. Was, that was the five thousand. That fits okay. nice and snug. The six is a little bit tighter. The seven, I really got to push to get it in there, which is that's good. Okay. Um, on a newer engine, you would generally go down to four instead of five, or on a brand new engine. Mm -hmm. So this valve's good. You do the same thing on, on the intake valve. Yep, same thing on the intake valve. Just kind of feel it. it. Should be pretty good there. And did these gasket covers come with new gaskets or? No, you need to get a new gasket. Okay. With, uh, All right. So that's good. This one might be a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit loose. And no, the uh, that gasket cover is from a different machine I just fixed. Okay. It, uh, the engine got hit in transit, so. Okay. It's kind of just a feel for it. You end up going back and forth with them a little bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's identical for both for both sides. The only difference is uh, where, your, where your flywheel is going to be positioned. You want to actually have a good quality set of wrenches for this, yeah. Because if there's, if your wrench is like this one, there's a little bit more wiggle room in it. Okay. Well, it's locked. Well, are these, I, have, I mean, these bolts are millimeter. I mean, they're metric, so it's not. Yeah. It's not SAE. Yeah. Well, this is still a ten a ten millimeter wrench. Okay. But if you but look, it has, oh, it has it, a wiggle. I have all that play in there. Yeah. So what ends up happening? is if it's not positioned perfectly i'll go and i'll tighten down this nut and it actually will move it'll my, strip yeah oh and it'll move the spacing it, yeah let me see yeah so it's kind of uh so, I mean, it looks like this is about a 30 minute job one on each, you know, do two on this, two on the other side. Yeah, if they want to cooperate, it's probably a little bit quicker than that. But 30 minutes isn't isn't a bad yeah. estimate. So, like, if you're doing it for a customer and they ask, yeah, that way, you know, you don't tell them 15 minutes and they, they get yeah. all upset. Yeah, 30 right. 30 minutes in. And if they have a new gasket cover at hand, I could possibly do this on site for them. If, if, if they I do have, have a new gasket, yeah. Yeah, and I have, and if they have the width, um, gauges yeah yeah you definitely need these yeah and that's good the only other thing that you want to pay attention to is just the old one yes yeah, so you want to remove this gasket and um you want to get a wire brush and clean off all the old all gasket the on both sides yeah and we will we'll take a little bit of lacquer thinner spray it in here clean the surface clean that surface and we'll mate them back together Oh, and you can spray lacquer thinner right on top here, no problem. I I don't I try to avoid getting it inside here because it does eat the oil up. Yeah. And I don't want whatever is left of that. Yeah. I just get a little on a rag and follow. Oh, you just follow with the rag. Okay, got it. Yeah, and then for the other side, I'm not I'm not gonna go through and do it. Yeah. What yeah. you want to do after you get your first one done, you're, you're gonna go one, one 
one whole rotation around, mm -hmm. and now you're lined up perfectly to do the, do the other side. The other side. Got it. And that's it. And you just cool. put your stuff back together, clean it up, and then, you know. Do you have to, re up. since the oil came out, would you re refill it with oil or not really? I think this guy's getting an oil change. Oil change too. So, yeah. Yeah, right. generally, I mean. So when you do your valve adjustments, you want to do your oil change at the same time since you lose if, a little if bit you of... Can, if you can, if you can line them up, yeah. You do only use a little bit of oil. So, uh, you know, if it's brand new, maybe just put in, you know, yeah, like, like a fifth of a bottle or something like that. Yeah. Cool, man. Thanks, brother. Yeah, no problem. All right, all right.